A bipartisan group of New York City Council members are demanding Governor Kathy Hochul sue the Biden administration over the record flow of migrants in the city. The Common Sense Caucus wrote private and public appeals to the White House for assistance had been met with indifference or silence. We believe the president and his administration have left you no choice but to go to the courts for redress. New York City Councilwoman Joanne Ariola signed on to that letter and she joins us now. Councilwoman, good morning to you. So this is a bipartisan partisan effort. Do you think Governor Hochul will be receptive to this call? She hasn't been receptive to all our other letters, but we will continue to send. Yes, this is a bipartisan effort. The Common Sense Caucus for six Republicans and two Democrats. Wow. And the money that this flood of illegal immigrants into New York is costing taxpayers is unbelievable. New York City taxpayers are, uh, taxpayers are on course to spend about $40,000 per migrant, which is an estimated total cost of $5 billion, which is more than any other sanctuary city in the country. And now you have New York City Mayor At Eric Adams saying that this could destroy the city. He did say it could destroy the city. I say it has destroyed the city. We are real. We need to come back. And that's why this, this legal action that needs to be taken by the governor against the federal government for their failure to secure our borders and prevent the flow of migrants into our city and state is the only way we can really, really fix the problem, handle the problem that we already have, and end the constant influx of migrants into our city. Yeah, yeah. We're getting, on average, just under 10,000 migrants per month. We currently have 113,300 migrants who've entered our, our uh, respite and intake centers. This is unsustainable. It is absolutely unsustainable. And there are those that would make the argument that it is sort of a problem of New York's own making because it is a sanctuary state. New York City is a sanctuary city. What would you say to those people? I'd say that they're right. This is a result of the radical left agenda that had been in office prior to to uh, this particular administration and me becoming a council member, and now we're paying the price for it. We can only hope that the courts uh, uh, agree that um, the, the right to shelter uh, should be amended or revoked for this period of time while we're going through this crisis, but we cannot continue to spend the billions and billions and billions of dollars that we don't have. Yeah. And Kathy Hochul's answer to that is, ask Joe Biden to use our national historic parks like Floyd Bennett Field to house 7,500 male single individual migrants. I know. Yeah. It's absolute negligence. I know, and I could see why. In what other governor would offer up their national parks yeah. for or, housing, or military for housing, bases. Or for base camps. Yeah, military or bases. Or military bases. I know that's also happening as well. So what will New York, New York City look like in five years if this level of illegal immigration continues to pour into the city? It will be a tent city because everyone who lives here will have left. When you when you when you really look at all the different numbers, we have the most migrants of any other large city. Miami has 69,000 plus, Chicago 40,000, LA 62,000. We have 113,300. It is impossible for a locality to take care of a, a humanitarian migrant yeah. asylum, whatever you want to call this crisis. It's impossible for a locality yeah. to take care of it. The governor, and the, and the president created this crisis, and they're doing little to nothing to help our city. And all they want to do is to keep our borders open, keep the flow coming in. And when you're offering free room, free board, free, free health care, free education, iPads, phones, and the potentiality of work permits, we're actually enticing people to come here. Yeah, and well, it's just it has to stop. This, yeah, this is a bipartisan effort because there is bipartisan outrage over this, and you can you can see why. Councilman, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for the time. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.